Hi everybody, this is sustainability and health coach Mike Garcia, also of Enviroscape LA. And today I wanted to talk to you about microgreens. Microgreens, what are they? They're not something under a microscope. They're not. They're not algae. We built, we built. I built a lot of ponds in my life, and no microgreens are not that under a microscope. Microgreens are actually things like broccoli, uh, mustard, radishes, sunflower seeds that are only about ten days old from start to finish. You know, seeds actually have a ton of fertilizer. Nature gives them the fertilizer they need to sprout. So what I wanted to give you an example of what microgreens really are. Well, I, I'm in the uh, R&D department of a place called Microgreens LA. And I wanted to show you, introduce you to these amazing things. And one, one thing I want to tell you why I'm actually so excited about microgreens. Microgreens, if you compare, oh, we all know what broccoli is. Okay, broccoli is a superfood. Kale, it's a superfood. Okay, however... If you're gonna eat a pound and a half of broccoli, I bet you've never done that, but if you did, you probably wouldn't eat for a couple of days. It's a lot of broccoli to eat. But to get the nutritional density of a pound and a half of broccoli, you could get it in just a, a tiny minute amount of microgreens. Let me show you, follow me. Now we're inside, these, this, these have actually been growing. These are peas, and these are microgreen peas. And uh, you can see they've been growing in the soil media here. Now this is indoors. This is the, called a grow light. So they've been growing. It's they're about ten days old. I'll show you something that's uh, a little less. Uh, these this is arugula. Now it's it's kind of yellow because it hasn't gotten whites yet. So we're letting it grow. And once it once it gets about this size, we're going to let the grow lights in on it. And um, I'll show you. This is uh, mustard. Check out, those are really, really small. So that's why we don't want to burn them. So we're kind of letting them sprout, if you will. And these are peas, these are more peas. That's what they look like. So that's what they look like after just a couple days, a day or two. And then this is what they look like when they're fully grown right here. So I had mentioned that if you had a pound of broccoli or you can cut uh, with scissors, you can cut these and you can have uh, just a, like an a few ounces. And a few ounces of this has the same nutritional density as a big giant pound and a half of broccoli. I mean, it's just amazing to get the same nutritional density. Our foods that are grown in modern agri agriculture today, there have been studies that show that our soils have been depleted. Uh, th that we just it's hard to get the nut nutritional density. You can get it with microgreens. They're easy to grow. You can do it in a small, tiny space with some grow lights, or they're also available. Microgreens LA will be offering them um, shortly uh, to restaurants, to farmers markets. I would encourage you to grow your own. There's a book that's gonna be coming out soon uh, on how to grow microgreens and sustainability. So lots of good things happening. You know, you, you read the headlines today, what's bad is always present. But so is what's right, and so is what's good. Your quality of life depends upon where you put your focus in. So make sure to focus on the pure, the positive, and powerful. This is Mike, your sustainability and health coach, signing off. When you think sustainability, think Microgreens LA.